we be rolling. That's right, rolling grass. Uh, that came out wrong. It is legal in Michigan, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I meant to say is, we're gonna use a lawn roller to level the yard. That's what I'm talking about. Why does there always have to be a lesson learned no matter what you're doing, or at least with me? I don't get it. I mean, I guess I just wasn't on my game when I was out there this weekend rolling the lawn. Made a couple mistakes, want to go ahead and tell you about them. But overall, you know, the lawn rolling went well. Got one in, it's springtime in Michigan here finally, it's late April, a lot of rain coming through so you get that moist ground there, you know. Good time of year to roll is really in the fall, but here we are in the spring and no time like the present, right? You don't wanna do this in the dead of summer, but let's get into those mistakes first. So there was no life endangerment taking place right now, but it's a couple things that I did with the parking brake that are just like, come on, Courtney, get it together, right? So I had my nine-year-old boy, Luke, out there with me today behind the camera, had the tripod set up and just kind of had him shuffle around the yard in different areas, swiveling the camera around on there. So make sure you give him some props. He did a great job. We were in the front yard and I was just helping him move from point A to point B. It's a pretty steep slope that's on the front yard, uh, my front yard. And so kind of tried to level things out as best we could. And we were moving from point A to point B. And I just happened to be facing downhill, okay, downhill with the roller and was at a stop there, you know, hydro machine. I set the parking brake, okay, and then went over to help Luke set up the camera. And when I came back and started walking back towards the machine, even though the parking brake was set, there it goes, just rolling slowly down the hill. And it was like right as I got to the machine, it started picking up speed. Mind you, the parking brake was set, okay, but when you have 1,300 pounds of weight back there, that's just pushing the machine down. You know, gravity's gonna do its thing, right? So that was knucklehead move number one. Knucklehead move number two on the day was after we were all done, Luke was itching to try to drive that tractor around. I was all for it. I didn't really think it would work out because I figured he was gonna be too light. You know, the seat safety switch that's there for him to try to reach the pedals, keep weight on the seat, all that kind of thing. I didn't think he was gonna be able to do it. So I think I was a little bit distracted by the fact that he was able to, to actually drive the machine around and I had put the machine again in neutral in the backyard, had it on the flat surface there, still had set the parking brake out of safety. He hops on and we're kind of just showing, I'm showing him the ropes there and, and he's driven four wheelers and that kind of thing. So he's familiar with how to operate machines, but he was just itching to go and, and so was I. And so I had it at low idle and everything else and away he goes and I'm not paying it much attention. He's just kind of creeping along and then he does a real, hard turn and there's some grass that's torn up. I'm like, that's weird. That didn't happen to me the entire time. You know, I'm like, take it easier on the next turn, man. Come on. And so he does it again. I'm like, what is going on here? You know, in my head, you know, in my head I am. And then it dawns on me. Parking brake was set the whole time. And so, holy smokes, it was a day. Always something to be learned, you know? Hey, and if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right there below underneath the video. Check out the description as well. Go through that. A lot of links to go to Amazon, to my website. can help you with a tractor, with an attachment. Put together a whole package for you. Delivery and financing too. You might wonder why I'm leveling my lawn. So I've done a lot of things to my lawn here starting back in the fall. I used a, uh, a huge sweepster. You might have heard of it. It's a three-point broom, okay? I actually tried that out on a four-series tractor dethatching my lawn with that and it's a pretty aggressive measure to do that with a broom like that you've seen it in some other videos online how you can dethatch with a broom and i wanted to put it to the test i did that it worked pretty well there was no long-term damage you can see it's already starting to green up here in the yard and everything's going to fill in did some overseeding last fall i'm doing more overseeding this spring did aerating in the fall i brought in 10 yards of topsoil and filled in a bunch of low spots all throughout the yard still have a ways to go on that. I'm doing all of this in an effort to mow my grass shorter and shorter and shorter. Why you ask? I have no idea. I, I really don't, you know. I just like the challenge of it perhaps. If you've ever seen the channels by uh, Connor Ward, okay, and Ryan Knorr Lawn Care, uh, great channels, I watch them pretty religiously. They are lawn care nuts along with Lawn Care Nut, that's another one too. <laughs> They're all a bunch of crazy guys, and I guess I'm just following suit. I've got a Toro Real Master 3100D mower that I've been mowing with a few times in the fall. I got it very late in the year. So you can see I'm just going crazy, you know? So I'm trying to figure out how to get Rosie from killing the grass when she relieves herself. I just got, 
I got a lot of stuff going on, you know. I thought we were moving, now we're staying. Economy, world is up, upended, you know. So who knows what's going on. Anyway, the point is here, we're rolling the lawn out. I'm trying to get it as flat as possible. Some keys that you want to know when you're rolling a lawn out or why you would roll your lawn out. You know, so I've got a few things going on in the back of this tractor here besides the actual three-point hitch itself. You're going to see first this black hunk of steel here, which is called a quick hitch if you're not familiar with them. And then secondly here, this green piece is going to be called a, a weight bracket, a heavy hitch weight bracket. You can put suitcase weights on here. They also make a, a double weight bracket as well, so you can hang even more suitcase weights on there if you need to. They're going to come integrated with a, a two-inch receiver here, and then you're going to have what's um, called a three-in-one hitch right here. So you've got a hook on here, a ball. And you also have, have this little spot here for a, a pin, which is what I ended up using with the roller, just putting a pin right through there and dragging it along. So a lot of stuff going on here. Heavy hitch is what these two right here, the black one and the green one, you get 5% off with code GWT. 5% off your order, just go to heavyhitch.com. They sell tooth, tooth bars as well, a lot of other stuff. Quick hitches, I can ship those to you. Just get a hold of me, goodworkstractors.com there as well. So if you're putting a new lawn in, it's a very good um, tool to use to really help level it out, okay? You wanna get a nice firm seed bed there, roll it out, get those big clumps and, and, and knots out of the lawn that are in there and just really help uh, compact it down evenly across the board. You know, too, if you have a lot of rodent damage or, or mole or vermin or whatever else that might happen, um, over the fall, the spring, the winter, whatever it might be. Really good, easy way to get that all compacted and back down. What you do not want to do is uh, roll your lawn when it is completely soaked and drenched because you're gonna compact it too much and it's gonna completely defeat the purpose of the aeration that you may have done. And the roots, they need air to breathe to, for drainage, for the, uh, the nutrients and the water and everything else to come down through the ground as well. So there's a fine line there and I'm walking that line pretty thin myself. You know, so I don't even know how many gallons are in this roller. It is a six foot roller that I'm using. You know, it took, I don't know, a half hour or so to fill the thing up, it feels like, but worked great. You know, I wasn't really sure if there was a right side up or a, you know, a wrong side up. And so I flip it over part way. You can see, if you look at the, uh, the bracket that's attached to the back of the tractor, you can see it's actually, I've flipped it around part way through the video. Um, it looks a little bit more level, but that's just kind of based on I guess the height I have my three-point hitch at as well. So basically guys, what I'm trying to tell you is that I got a lot of stuff going on with the lawn this year. And so this was kind of all in the works from last year, kind of been getting ramped up and building towards what I want to do this year. Yeah, we were supposed to be moving. I don't know what's going on. I mean, does anybody know what's going on anymore? But you know, I've done some seeding already. Again, I use the Casco seeder. I've got the Ryan Mattaway seeder that I just got. I'm going to do some more overseeding with that as well. You know, I've got a big tool rack uh, with a sprayer that I want to use to do some spraying. I also just got in an electric spreader, okay? Electric spreader, three-point, you know, PTO here. You can also get an ATV uh, receiver-mounted version as well. You can have adjustable range from 5 feet to 45 feet. So I'm be using that on my lawn to do some fertilizer spreading and that kind of thing as well. All sorts of fun stuff, get you some different perspectives, different fun things to look at too. We'll have some fun this year. The other big thing that I learned uh, besides parking brake things, <laughs> was that these dualies are fantastic, you know? So both the dualies and the tires themselves. If you notice my front lawn, it is a pretty steep slope there, and I, it handles it just fine going side to side on that slope there with the, with the roller on it as well. So no issues there. Additionally, these tires are fantastic on the turf is what I'm finding, okay? So it looks like they are kind of aggressive, right? but they do really well on there. So far, it was not completely dry, it was not completely wet, it's kind of right in the middle there. You know, it had rained all day the day before, and then I was just back and forth all over it this day. Um, I wanted to get out there after it had a good hard rain, you know, not right after, but a little time to dry out, that kind of thing. So it was really good conditions for that. And these tires worked really well. And again, the stability. Do I think dualies are practical for everybody? No, I don't. Can you put these on with a mower deck? No, you can't. But what you can do instead and still get that lateral side to side stability are going to be getting something called a wheel spacer and you can add on inch and a half or two inch wheel spacers even on your rear tires here take some good measurements and that's going to help you um, still get that side to side stability that you need but still be able to get onto your or drive onto your mower deck and not have it interfere with the gauge wheels that are on the back of it you can also get five percent off if you go to bora wheel spacers 5% off, Bora wheel spacers, they get them from one inch all the way out to six inches. 
get them in aluminum, get them in steel, front axle, rear axle, whatever. A lot of options on there, 5% off with GWT. So I know, yeah, the lawn rolling is a bit contradictory to the aerating, the uncompacting. Uncompacting, is that a word? I don't know. But doing the opposite of compacting is, and then here I am driving over it again and compacting it right back down. But it's all in the effort to level that lawn, to um, feed my addiction to get that super shortcut lawn, which I'm going to be doing this year. We'll see if it works. Maybe it'll be a colossal failure. I don't know, but we'll find out. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.